That way of life disappeared as the glaciers in the north receded and the ice age ended. As the conditions became desert-like, the lifestyle of the people who lived here adjusted also. This adjustment, which took many generations, saw the large game animals replaced as food sources by small desert animals and even lizards. Ancient people supplemented their diet of meat by harvesting the local plants like cactus, yucca, and mesquite. This lifestyle became known as the desert culture. Around 2,000 years ago, a group of people known as the Anasazi spread to the Lake Mead area from the east and established themselves. A highly structured farming society that diverted river water for irrigation, the Pueblo flourished along the Virgin and Muddy Rivers, building adobe structures almost like apartment houses and working in arts and crafts. Many of the remnants of Pueblo culture in this area still rest in the Overton arm of Lake Mead, but enough was known before the lake was created to determine that somewhere around the year 1150, the Pueblo people left. No one knows why. Maybe drought or flash flood. Maybe aggression from other tribes. The only sure thing is that they abandoned the villages they had inhabited for a thousand years. But the way of life is here. people, such as the Central Paiute, once moved to the desert mountains and valleys. The Paiutes adapted to the desert so well that their lifestyle in 1850 was almost identical to that of their ancestors. Years earlier, the Paiutes roamed in small 